If you haven't done so yet, make sure that you pause the video and try to answer this question on your own first before listening on. The key to this question is to note that the electric field is uniform. And whenever we have a uniform electric field and we wish to determine the electric flux, we can use the following equation. So the electric flux, which is symbolized by this Greek letter phi on the left side, is equal to the dot product between the electric field vector and the area vector. The area vector is shown as this normal vector pointing straight up, and then the electric field vectors are shown in these diagonal lines here. Now, of course, a dot product can be rewritten in terms of magnitudes. So we can have the magnitude of the electric field multiplied by the area and then multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the electric field and the area vector. Now looking at the three values on the right hand side of the equation, E again is the magnitude of the electric field and that was given to us as 1800 newtons per coulomb, so that's straightforward. A is going to represent the area of this surface here. Now the question notes that the surface is a square and of course we know that the area of a square is simply the length of the square multiplied by the width of the square. And it turns out that the angle is the trickiest part of this question. So what we're going to do is come over back to the picture and we're going to take that normal line and we're just going to extend it with a dotted line. And then we're going to take this electric field line right here and we're going to extend that as well. So that would look something like that. Now again, the angle we seek is between that red electric field line that we just drew and the area vector. The area vector is going to be pointing perpendicular to the surface, and that turns out to just be this normal line right here. So this normal line can also be considered the area vector. Now, we know this angle right here is 35 degrees. We're seeking that angle, because that's the angle between electric field and the area vector. And of course, we have a straight line running along about there, which makes up 180 degrees. So if we wanted to find this angle right here, we would have to take 180 degrees and subtract the 35 degrees given in the question. And of course, that comes out to 145 degrees. So that's going to be the appropriate angle between the electric field vector and the area vector, and that's what we're going to plug in for theta. So let's go ahead and plug in all the known values. Notice for the area that we converted the 3.2 millimeters into the standard unit of meters by multiplying the 3.2 by 10 to the negative 3. That will convert it into meters. And again, the area was length times width. They're both the same value because it's a square. So we basically just took the length of the square and just squared it. That would amount to doing length times width for the square. So when we work this out, we get a value of approximately negative 1.5 times 10 to the minus 2. And then if we look at the units carefully, we have newtons, we have meters squared, and then we have all of that divided by coulombs. And so this would be the final answer to the question. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please click the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for similar videos. Remember that you can send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen, and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.